So we're on the western edge of the fort now. And in the background, you can see that red brick house. That is where one of the outermost redoubts was located. As you can see now, obviously it's on private property, but that's one of the sites where the French and native forces tried to really push their attack on the fort into the night. And there was some sniping throughout the night. And at one point, apparently, the French and the natives even tried to set fire to the fort from that position. But having failed that, the attack petered off. And the next day, the French and native forces drifted off back to Fort Duquesne. And as I mentioned, within about six weeks or so, the French themselves destroyed Fort Duquesne as it became apparent that when the bulk of Forbes' army came up the road and linked up with the forces in Fort Ligonier, that the French would not be able to defend that fort against such an overwhelming force, especially since their supplies had been cut. But you can see how large this, force, uh, this fort is. We're going to try to get um, a picture uh, of an overhead map in the museum and see if you can get an idea, gain an appreciation of just how extensive this was. There's a diorama inside. We'll try to get a little image of that on the way back through the museum so you can see how large this was. It's an interesting diorama because there's not a tree within several hundred yards of the fort. When you're making this many logs, there's not gonna be much left. So, but a beautiful, beautiful sight. Go up to the edge. <laughs>